Tonight on Documentify TV, what if the secrets of the past weren't buried underground, but frozen in time? What if melting ice could rewrite history as we know it? For centuries, ice has acted as nature's time capsule, preserving organic materials that would otherwise decay. But now, as temperatures rise, these icy archives are thawing, revealing artifacts that offer a unique glimpse into the lives of people who lived thousands of years ago. This isn't your typical archaeological expedition. We aren't brushing dirt off pottery shards. Instead, we're examining remarkably well-preserved organic materials emerging from the ice. This relatively new field, known as ice patch archaeology, is booming in places like the Yukon, Scandinavia, and the Rocky Mountains. These sites offer a unique record of human activity and environmental change. How are these artifacts preserved so well? And what stories do they tell? Ice patches act like natural freezers. Objects lost or discarded on the ice are quickly covered by snow, which compacts into ice, shielding them from decay and disturbance for thousands of years. The melting process reveals items like ancient hunting weapons with feathers and sinew still intact. These finds provide unparalleled insights into indigenous technologies, hunting strategies, and daily life. We are able to examine items crafted from wood, bone, and even textiles, materials that rarely survive in traditional archaeological digs. Radiocarbon dating of these organic artifacts allows for precise timelines, sometimes stretching back 9,000 years. The discoveries made in ice patches are of particular importance to First Nations people, as many of these sites are located within their ancestral territories. This research provides direct links to their cultural heritage, confirming oral histories and offering tangible connections to their ancestors. It's a collaborative effort with First Nations communities actively involved in the research and interpretation of these finds. These recovered items are not just objects, they represent a legacy. If you're finding this video interesting, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Documentify TV for more content like this. It really helps us to grow the channel. So, while some attribute the melting of ice patches solely to modern climate change, the story is more complex. The Earth's climate has always experienced natural cycles of warming and cooling. Glacial advances and retreats have occurred for millennia, influenced by factors such as the Earth's orbit, solar activity, and volcanic eruptions. What we are seeing now may be part of a larger pattern but the rate of change and potential impacts on these fragile archaeological sites are still a cause for concern. Could it be, as some scientists suggest, that increased hydrothermal activity beneath the Earth's crust is playing a role in these climatic shifts? Regardless of the cause, the melting of ice patches poses a significant threat. As the ice disappears, these artifacts are exposed to the elements, leading to rapid decay and loss of invaluable historical information. Scientists and archaeologists are in a race against time to document and recover these treasures before they are lost forever. The discoveries from ice patch archaeology challenge our understanding of the past. They raise profound questions about human adaptation, environmental change, and the resilience of ancient cultures. Were these ice patches consistently used as hunting grounds, or were there periods of abandonment and reuse? What can these artifacts tell us about the impact of past climate fluctuations on human societies? The truth is out there. Ice patch archaeology is more than just recovering old objects. It's about piecing together a more complete picture of human history one frozen fragment at a time. It forces us to reconsider what we think we know about the past and the forces 
that have shaped our world, and perhaps it will lead us to question established narratives. Let us know your thoughts on Ice Patch Archaeology in the comments below. What questions do you have? What other topics would you like to see covered on Documentify TV? And always remember to question everything. That's it for today's video, folks. See you next time right here on Documentify TV.